What's up guys, B-Rob here. Welcome to this week's episode of Food Stuff Fight. This one is on Food Stuff Fight Dehydration. I'll be right back. So here we are, new episode, Food Stuff Fight Dehydration. Thank you for tuning in. If you are new to the Food Stuff Fight series, please go see right here, click right there on, and go back and watch the intro video that explains what uh, the Foods of Fight series is all about and feel free to go ahead and watch any of the other videos that I've put out on, on some of the other issues that uh, you could possibly have or know someone that has and the foods that may help those issues. Um, but today we're going to talk about Foods of Fight dehydration and if you're new to This Is B-Rob or if you've been watching for a while but haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and subscribe and um, share this video also. But please subscribe and after you subscribe, please click on that little bell right there. And what that does is it alerts you to every time I put out some helpful information. And I have something new too. So I have, I launched the website, this is brob.com. And from the website, you can actually join my mailing list where I'll give you more uh, helpful tips and uh, on lifestyle and health and muscle building. All right, so feel free to join that. But um, back to today is we're gonna talk about dehydration. So when it comes to dehydration, uh, something that I've, I've recognized is that the majority of us are probably walking around slightly dehydrated, if not more than that anyways. So by the time your body, by the time you realize that you are dehydrated, you're probably in a harmful state by that point where um, your body has, has lost so much water or it hasn't had so much water, the water that it needs, that now you start feeling the, the side effects of that. So you're probably already in a, in a harmful state to where you're doing damage to your body, even more damage, okay? So it's important to stay hydrated and it's important to understand which foods can help you get there. So what I've done today is I've chosen three foods that um, I eat and three foods that should help with hydration. And I've done research on those and here's, here's let's go ahead and get into it. So the first food I wanna talk about is watermelon. So watermelon is actually, um, through my research, I found that water, watermelon is like 92% water, right? As a matter of fact, in one cup of water, well, over half of, a, uh, half of that cup of watermelon, I'm sorry, uh, over half of that cup of watermelon is actually water, right? So other than um, a, a delicious sweet food that will hydrate you, it, it also, it's also packed with um, vitamins A and C, as well as fiber. So that's watermelon for you. The other one is cabbage. Cabbage is just like watermelon where it contains a, a lot of water. As a matter of fact, the research I've done says that this is probably about the same as watermelon, 92% um, uh, water in it. So cabbage, the good thing about cabbage is it's higher in fiber. Um, and so eating cabbage will get you, uh, helps, helps you reach that daily fiber intake, but it also has vitamin C and K. And um, it also has some extra, extra benefits where uh, there's some anti-inflammation inflam properties as well as some antioxidants that can help fight uh, against certain types of cancers. So cabbage is one of those really good foods for you. And then the next food, the last food is soups. So soups, um, as you know, anytime someone is sick, one of the first things we think about is uh, chicken noodle soup or having them eat soup. And so uh, soup has been around for a while as, as, as a form of hydration um, or form of, of healing. And so uh, soup, through my, my research, I've seen that, uh, found that soup actually can help hydrate because guess what? Soup is mostly water, right? So um, soup has a lot of benefits. It's 92% water also. So all three of these foods that I've chosen um, is made up of 92% of water per serving. And so that basically says it all, right? All right, so um, if you go to leanwellonline.com or if you're reading this blog from leanwellonline.com, um, just understand that I actually add more information than what I'm presenting here in this video. And I also give you some ways that I eat these three foods. Um, so when you go read the blog, um, please heart that blog and let me know that you liked it. And on this video, please like, share, subscribe, and comment. Thank you for tuning in. This is B-Rob.